I'm going to grab the whole box. And not only that, am I going to open it while I'm standing here at the cart? Open it while you're walking. I'm going to open it while I'm walking. Because, so now I'm doing two things at once. I'm not going to cut myself. I'm going to open it while I'm off, walking, and now I'm opening it up. And then I'm going to, before I get there, if I have time, what am I going to do? Check your phone. I'm going to pull one out. I'm going to look at the UPC. Now I've got the last three or four digits of the UPC in my head. Now I'm going to look for the tag. So I don't wait till I get there to open the box. I don't wait till I get there to open, to look at the UPC. I'm doing all that stuff before I get there. But, um, you know, in that case, I made two trips when I only needed to make one. So, um, you know, I've seen, I've seen guys sometimes with, with a few, with a light number of pallets, actually. Um, a couple of years ago, I actually saw a couple of guys working a pallet like this. It only had about this many pallet goods on it. Two of them walking it down the aisle, so we had two of them walking. And we went ahead and we, we stocked some of the bag goods here, and then it looked like some of them were to go outside. Well, we finished cutting off the plastic. So at that point, one of the guys walked with this plastic roll all the way to the back to take care of it, while the other one continued outside. After he was done taking care of this plastic ball, he went ahead and walked all the way back up front to where the employee was. It was almost comical, you know. I'm like, why don't you just leave that plastic sitting on that pallet until you go to the back and then take care of it? You know? But we didn't, you know. Really, it probably only took one guy to work the amount of freight that was on there rather than two. But, um, you know, he actually walked this far back just to go ahead and get rid of the roll of plastic and then walked that far again. It was kind of wasted. So, um, other um, loading U-boats, I think I kind of mentioned that. Sometimes you can plan it, you know, and I think you try to do that already if you can mm -hmm. as you're down stacking them. You can make, you can do a little sorting as you're doing it, not only by department, but by lawn and garden chemical liquids. That just makes it faster as to stock it. Um, anybody know why sensormatic tags are located where they are, the empty or the unused ones? Um, in this store, can you you know where they are? Right over there. Right you know so what? you can grab it as you walk around. The Why don't we go ahead and put them over here? Because then there's more steps. What? More you, steps. You can just get it while you're taking out the. That's UV. right. They're over there for a reason. Plus, if we put them over here, how many people are tempted? Some people probably won't come get them because we don't want to walk all the way over here. You know. Um, we'll forget them out of sight, out of mind, that kind of thing. They're there for a reason. So as you're walking by. You just grab a couple, and then you go. Fewer number of footsteps. Those kinds of things. You guys might be able to spot things like that in your job that you should bring up to Josh. You know what? It'll take less time or fewer footsteps if we did this. What if we did this? And he'd say, great idea. I like it. Let's start doing it. Um, the more things like that that we can find efficiencies, the better the better it goes. You know, let's say we got, let's say we're unloading a truck, and we got to, uh, um, four of us standing out back, um, and there's very little loose items. We got a bunch of freight inside already, but we got four, four of us standing out back, um, and really, there's not that many loose items, um, so we got about two or three of us standing around. Does that sound like game time? No. We got two or three just kind of standing there, you know, talking about our weekend, and I get it. You know, shoot, we still got to get to know the guys we work with and have fun. But, you know, hey, I think we need one or two out there. Get the rest in here. Start breaking down a pallet. Or you already got a pallet or a U-boat loaded. Take it and get it out. You know, those kinds of things. You know, and those kinds of things, you're all smart enough to see. You know, you kind of know, am I, am I just stand, standing around here wasting time? I should, I should get going. I should keep busy. I said at the end of the year, if we ever had to cut hours, that guy who stands around more is going to be the first one that Josh says, you know, I need to cut somebody back from three nights a week to two. And he's pretty slow, and he just stands around and watches the truck be unloaded. He's probably going to cut your hours by four hours first, because the other guy doesn't stand around. You don't want to be that guy who gets his hours cut first. Um, so, um, you know, if we got 30 minutes before the truck is going to get here, you know, and maybe we can... Um, you know, rather than, uh, you know, should, rather than hang around the back room, just wait for it to be done, get with Josh. Hey, what should I do? You know, is there anything we could do? Go out and face an eye. You can't find Josh, you know? 
Um, David does a pretty good job of facing this store, um, but this time of year, you know, we can face some of these sections two or three times a week. Rather than stand around and wait, you know, Josh, just get on the radio. Josh, let me know when you're freed up. Go out and start facing a section, you know. Or if you happen to know that we haven't worked ad back stock in a couple of days, maybe William knows. He's here more hours than anybody else. You know, go out, shoot until Josh is freed up. Should we take a look at ad stuff? Get busy, you know, grab something. Get out and go, go doing it. I can guarantee you, guys with hustle, guys that do these kinds of things, you will get more hours more pay and if we need to promote somebody you'll be one of the first ones promoted i guarantee it because i don't i don't want to promote somebody who isn't even doing the job they're doing now they're not even doing that effective enough i want to promote somebody who's doing a great job and they will they'll get they'll get promoted um eric for instance we needed somebody in rental um eric's over in rental great um let me see you know if I was uh, if I was upstairs and I wanted the trash can empty out front, um, you know, and let's say I was going to ask for for one of you stalkers to do it, um, how should I do that? Radio. Radio? Why don't I have you come upstairs to the office? Yeah, you probably by the time you got up there, you'd probably say, "Really? You just had me walk all the way up here just to uh, um, you know just to tell me to empty the trash can." He could use the radio. Sometimes that radio is really useful for that kind of thing, you know. And maybe you need to go find out a question or an answer now. Or it's, uh, you know, Josh, when you're freed up, can you let me know? i got a question for you. Um, you know, so certain things, you know, are time sensitive where we can use a radio to, you know, to help out with footsteps. Great, let's use it. You know, so. um, so for most of the things that, that I was thinking about, um, but I was gonna, I was just gonna ask you guys: Do you have any, any additional thoughts or ways that you think that we could be more accurate, faster, do a better job? Is there anything you guys need to do your job better? Training, more meetings, good on all that kind of stuff. Thank you. Yeah. Thank more you, you boys. Yeah, that's right. More you boys. More you boys. Which I, I know, but it's it seems to be where we, especially on the bigger ones where we're yeah. 15 and more. And that's the sorting part. Mm -hmm. The trouble, the trouble with, I love, I love U-boats. Mm -hmm. um, the only problem with U-boats is that, you know, we only use them, you know, for. Twice a week. Yeah, we only use them for three or four hours on a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And then probably maybe twice, twice as long on a Friday and a big load or something. So the rest of the week they're taking up empty space. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's yeah. I have thought long and hard <laughs> on a storage spot for U-boats. At one point, we actually used to have pipe nipples, one inch in diameter. We used to put them inside of these empty holes. And then we'd stack another U-boat on top. We'd have U-boat flats stacked on top of each other um, about this high when not in use. So rather than take up, you know, 10 feet of U-boat space, they were taking up two spots and then these were leaned up in a spot but it was a little dangerous to down stack them um, did take some extra time when we wanted to use them not keeping that so i don't know that one's a trade-off where do we put them when we're in the non use i don't know if we can figure out a, a great storage space that doesn't compromise the rental space we need and the other yeah so it's a trade-off it's, it's a good idea though it's the kind of thing you can always propose Any, have any, you want to add anything, Steve, Jim, Josh? You guys have any thoughts or feelings? Or I guess for me, it's just uh, be as accurate and fast as you can. That would that would help us out a lot. Because like I said, when we got empty holes and they're sitting back here, um, you know, the product the faster we get it out, the better. So it's about all I got. Unless anybody has anything to add. So. Was there a conversation that I had with Josh? If that, if yeah, that, yeah, go ahead. Couple minutes. Um, and I thought I had about the U-boats. What would happen if we didn't stack them this high? What if we only stacked them a couple high? Yeah. Would that, mm -hmm. yeah. They would take up less space. I don't know if that's space. the kind of thing that would work or not. I'm not opposed to spending money on more U-boats or whatever it takes to make you guys' jobs easier and faster and more productive. 
whatever that's worth. But first, what I, what I was going to share was um, we've never had a stocking team before like, like y'all are, right? And really what you guys are doing here right now is you're setting the tone for a stocking crew for all time to come. You're working on processes, you're working on the pace, you're working on the, um, the, the least number of footsteps, you're working on all those things that, that y'all have worked so hard on this last season. And if you think about it, you're the first ones in, this, in our business. So you're really setting the pace and the tone for that crew for 10, 15, 20 years from now. And wouldn't it be cool if five years, 10 years down the road, Carrie's doing one of these little sessions for another crew and you say, you know what? I remember the first crew we had. This is what they did. And, and he's bragging about you. Just like we were talking about the young man on the wheelbarrows earlier. And you'd be remembered forever. So, um, point is, is that I know y'all are, are young men. I know y'all like to be winners. Anybody like to lose? No? If Josh has been measuring, um, you know, a productivity rate on our, on our um, stocking the number of lines per hour. And I'm not going to say that you guys are bad, because you're not. But there can always, no matter how good you are, there always can be improvements made. Wouldn't it be cool if 10 years from now, he's saying, you know what? That first crew we had, they were doing this many lines per hour. That's what you guys need to keep up with, is that first crew we had. And you all, some of you have been here for our, for our um, storm meetings. You know we have that chant, right? Mm -hmm. the, you know, we'll ask a question, and the answer is what? Best damn hardware store in the valley. Okay. Now, uh, if, if you guys are all done, I'd like to modify that a little bit. Okay? And the answer is, we are. Are you all done? Oh, I'm done. Okay. The answer is, we are. Who's the best damn stocking crew in the valley? We, we are! are! All right. All right. I'll go out there and do it. One hour, two minutes, and 52 seconds. This will go down. Okay. This is the tra new training manual, guys. Congratulations.